everybody! This time, we invite you to see the most interesting specimens from our collection of petrified plants, mostly trees turned into stone. Petrified wood can be found in multiple locations all around the globe. The age can be as much as several hundred million or just 500,000 years, which is also a long time. It does take quite a while for minerals to replace organic materials of the original plant structure. In most cases, the petrified wood is formed when trees are buried under a layer of volcanic ash or mineral-rich mud, preventing natural decomposition due to lack of oxygen. The minerals from ash or mud surrounding the plant's remnants are dissolved by the rainwater and slowly diffuse into the plant tissues, accumulating there atom by atom. The color of the final product depends on the mineral composition. For instance, Red color comes from iron, black from carbon or manganese oxide. Green is due to presence of cobalt, chromium or copper. Yellow, iron oxides or uranium. And manganese gives the stone hues of pink. This is an example of multicolored petrified wood from Arizona. As in the case of most rocks, polishing is what brings out the colors and pattern. This fossil is from the Triassic period. Roughly 200 million years ago, it was an Araucaria tree grown on a supercontinent, Pangaea. Notice that there are no growth rings on this wood. This is because trees grew in the stable, warm, and wet climates without season. Here's a slab cut from a trunk of a tree fern. Our specimen is a typical example of the petrified wood that comes from Brazil. Round structures in the center of the trunk are vascular bundles of xylem tissue. The function of xylem is to bring the water up to the leaves. This is how a modern day tree fern looks like. Ferns do not have flowers. They produce myriads of tiny spores that are formed in specialized structures under the leaves. The slab you see is from the Carboniferous period, about 300 million years old, before the age of dinosaurs. Notice the quartz crystals and space between the vascular bundles, like in miniature geodes. Here's another piece from the same place and period, a fragment of trunk from giant horsetail. It has a typical round hole in the center, which is called a pith cavity. Pith is a spongy substance inside the plant's stem. This is how the contemporary horse steel stalks look like. The ancient ones were much, much taller. Every state in USA has an official state fossil. Arizona chose petrified araucaria wood. Louisiana, petrified palm wood. Palm trees are quite common in both Louisiana and Texas, although this particular specimen is from Indonesia. Typical petrified wood from Indonesia has a combination of black and pale brown colors. The palm wood is easily recognized by the scattered vascular bundles that look like tubes and are often filled with translucent material. These bundles are responsible for making the trunk of the palm tree strong but flexible, capable to withstand high winds during storms. While bright colors of petrified wood are due to impurities, the bulk part, the matrix, is silica, or silicon oxide, same as regular sand. In the world of gems, it is known as quartz, chalcedony, and agate. Agate is more watery, comparing to quartz, 
and can contain up to 20% of water. These minerals are often semi-translucent, making specimens of petrified wood a bit three-dimensional by letting light inside the specimen. By the way, petrified wood is often called silicified wood. Petrified wood has mostly decorative use. Look at this nice buckle made from petrified palm. This specimen represents more regular wood with growth rings. Judging from the color, it may be a pine from Wyoming recovered from famous Blue Forest location, dating back 50 million years. The cracks were filled with silica. Despite, common types of petrified wood can be easily recognized. The precise identification of species would require preparation of thin translucent slices and microscopic imaging. Here is an example of petrified wood from Madagascar. Most of trees coming from this place do not have growth rings, indicating a stable climate. This slab was not polished. Wetting can help you bring out the nice red coloration. When you buy similar slabs online, make sure it's advertised as polished. Often, sellers just spray the specimen when they take a picture and forget to mention it. Here are pebbles picked up from the roadside gravel in North Texas. Palm wood is easily recognized thanks to the dotted pattern. Well, this is all we want to say today. Please give us your likes and continue to watch other gorgeous specimens or visit our channel for more interesting videos about fossils in nature. Thank you and good luck! Thank <laughs> you.